Hello everyone, I am Teacher Yang from 591 Lab. Today let's talk with our friends. Is the CCIE exam currently easy to pass? Or is it simple to prepare for the CCIE exam now? Let's take a brief look. Today, two of our students took the CCIE exam. One of them has already received their results. The other student also did well, both passing the CCIE certification on their first try. Moreover, a student from yesterday passed, and the five students who took the exam last week all passed on their first attempt. Currently, this version of the CCIE is the simplest, probably the easiest in the last 15 years. Whether it's from the configuration aspect or the difficulty of the version itself, it's very simple. I can give you a brief overview. This version is divided into three parts. The first part is the traditional section. The traditional section 1.1 is an introduction and from 1.2 to 1.14 there are a total of 13 requirements. These 13 requirements are all about traditional routing and switching. For example, 1.2 is about VLANs. Creating VLANs is very simple. For 1.3, configure a channel, right, link aggregation. Then for 1.4, set up an HSRP. HSRP is also simple. Then 1.5 is about configuring OSPF areas, very simple. Then 1.6 is about EHRP, specifically IPv4 EHRP, right? 1.7, 1.8 are about MPRS. Then 1.9 is a redistribution. In total, 1.9 uses less than four command lines. Then 1.10 covers BGP and BFD. 1.11 is DMVPN. It's just that the DMVPN question in 1.11 might have a bit larger configuration. Then coming to 1.12, NAT is very simple. 1.13 is about process security, right? Doing port security, 1.143A. Actually, the entire first part can be completed in about an hour by a fast typing student. Then the second part is about SDN, with a total of seven requirements. These seven requirements, for example, 2.1 is about bi-directional redistribution, bi-directional redistribution, command lines, less than four command lines in total. Then 2.2 is a multiple choice question. 2.3 involves diagram questions, right? Then 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7. These four requirements need a graphical interface. Actually, you could say the entire second part can be completed in about 30 minutes, no problem. The third part is even simpler. 3.1 needs some configuration, just that 3.1 is a bit troublesome. 3.2 involves four error points, basically done in two minutes. Then 3.3 is a multiple choice question. So after completing this version, the entire configuration is minimal. It could be said that, in the past 15 years, this is the CCIE EI exam with the least configuration. Our solution method for this version of CCIE EI, our solutions score very highly, with great honor. Moreover, currently, I can show you 591 Lab. At 591 Lab, we have prepared nine sets of racks. These nine sets of racks let everyone try the versions and everyone can choose their time to book a rack session according to their convenience. For instance, if I prefer to practice from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., that's when I'd book. Then you'd automatically log into your rack during your book time slot. During this time slot, you won't be disturbed by other students. This rack time slot is yours to access. So it's very convenient, for example, if tomorrow I might switch to another rack moving to 103, then I just book that rec for that time slot. Maybe tomorrow I'll be free from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. I'll book the rec during this time slot. Maybe the day after tomorrow, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. will be convenient for me. Just book the rack for that time slot. It's very convenient. So now is the best time to take the CCIE exam, whether it's because of the version or its stability, or because we have plenty of rack spaces available and our solutions also score very high. Even with this version, when I took the exam, there were a few requirements, one or two had issues, no phenomena appeared, but it wasn't a big deal. Why? Because the solutions have redundancy, there's redundancy. So, for those planning to take the CCIE, I think there is currently only one version. Just take this one version and the configuration is particularly minimal, very minimal. It's a great opportunity to prepare. The most crucial point is that we prepare for the CCIE at 591 Lab. 
we have a large number of CCIE students. Basically, every exam day, we have students taking the CCIE exam. So any changes, any updates, or even minor changes in the questions don't matter because enough of our students take the exam, they bring back the information immediately, after which we optimize our solutions based on it. So you don't need to worry. Any small changes we can still pass, still pass the CCIE certification exam.